Well, thank you very much. We have some of the most respected and powerful, frankly. They have tremendous congregations of pastors and ministers anywhere in this country, and they've been uh, talking to me for a long period of time. Uh, you probably saw we went up 19 percent. I saw that just a little while with the Hispanic population. Part of it's the jobs, because they're doing record-setting jobs right now. Uh, but part of it is uh, what we talk about, the wall and security. And uh, these are just tremendous people. Many have been my friends for a long period of time. And uh, I thought we'd go around the table and say a few words, and that'd be great. We'll start with Pastor, please. Sure. Uh, Mr. President, thank you for having us here today. I have a letter to present to you from 150 Hispanic evangelical leaders, uh, simply saying uh, an expression of gratitude for your good faith efforts to work with Democrats and try to get everyone to the table to get things moving again. Uh, you've uh, done a very good job in being the leader we need you to be in extending a hand to them to come to the table. And we, we want to say thank you for doing that. And we want to say thank you for uh, uh, doing everything you can to get aid in a humanitarian uh, way for this crisis uh, where it's needed most, securing our borders, and providing for law enforcement and the Border Patrol everything they need, all the tools and resources right. that are needed. One thing you have not done, Mr. President, is manufacture a humanitarian crisis. It's real, and although many people began to declare repeatedly this is a manufactured crisis, uh, uh, being a pastor from Texas, I can tell you the human suffering that's been going on for many decades has hit a fever pitch, and I'm grateful that you have shown leadership to recognize it, to call it out, and to actually do something about it. So thank you for thank you very doing much. that. Thank you. thank you very much, please. Mr. President, I'm Norma from the International Church of yes. Las Vegas. I'm a pastor there in the, not only in the large community, but in the Latina community. And about a week ago, I heard a briefing that you were doing where you were talking about um, the border security and also the humanitarian crisis. And I literally just, as I was listening to you share that, I pulled over to the side and I just started praying. And I was like, do, do the American people hear the statistics that the president is saying? Do the American people um, know what our reality is? So in that moment, I feel like I had like a truth encounter with what you were saying. And I started praying, Lord, let America have this truth encounter. I am an immigrant from Mexico and also daughter of an immigrant mm -hmm. from Mexico. And I, I just wanted you to know that you have not only my support, but you have the support of our community. Yes, there's, there's things that we, we need to resolve. I feel like you, you're doing an, an amazing job resolving not only um, you know, the, 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 the need for security, this crisis that, does, that has been going on for many, many years with, with the security of our nation and also with uh, immigration issues that have been going on for so many years. So I just wanted to thank you. Thank you. Um, and wanted you to know that you have our support. We'll get it done. Absolutely. We'll get it done. Uh, yeah, I'm Pastor Guillermo Maldonado from King Jesus Ministry in Miami. And we're here to support you, Mr. President. Um, you know, there's misconception in the public thinking that Spanish community uh, is for uh, illegal immigration. There's a misconception also that we want open borders. And dealing with people every single day, I see that our community support what you're doing. We don't want open borders. I've been in 70 countries preaching the gospel, and every country has laws and order. And every country we go, America has been so gracious. Uh, open the doors and open the, the, the doors for every person that comes. And that misconception that the Spanish people want open borders, that want, you know, no laws, that's not true. We here to support you. What you're doing is great. The low, the lowest unemployment for Spanish people, 4%. Yeah. That's, that's in history. history. Yeah. That's in history. Yeah. And that's why you have seen an increase of your support, the support of Spanish people to you. Mm -hmm. So we greatly appreciate Thank it. You, we pray for you and we yes. want you to know when you come with our support. Thank you, Pastor. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Please, Mr. President Trump, thank you so much for all that you're doing for America. I'm Pastor Christoph from the International Church Las Vegas. And I, I support totally what you're doing here. I'm doing for America. 
uh, concerning the, the crisis there at the border. I'm involved a lot with human trafficking and gang violence with the police department in Las Vegas. And we know there's a crisis. And we want to tell you thank you for everything you're doing and we support all that you're doing. And the gangs come from yes. south of the border? Yes. Right? Uh, yes, gangs. Almost everybody? Yes. Almost all of them? Uh, most of them that come, come to Las Vegas, they're trying to fit in somewhere, work things out. They can't get anything going, so they start joining groups of uh, the gangs. And that's where that happens. And we, I work alongside the police department. We have our churches that are connected to the police department in different, city, in different areas of the city. And where there's a crime or uh, violence, we go out with them. And uh, we, 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 we hit the ground with the police department there to restore uh, order back in certain areas. Great. Great job you do. Thank you. Fantastic job. Pastor? Hi, I am Pastor Marilyn Rivera, and I am the first lady president of the Hispanic Pastor Association in South Florida. And I just want to tell you that we pray for you, we are behind you, we want safe Thank borders, you. and we're willing to stick with you for immigration reform, whatever, let's work together. Good. Well, thank you, you've been fantastic. Mike, Mike Pence. Just, it's an honor to, to uh, welcome these wonderful Hispanic pastors here. We're grateful for their ministries. And I, uh, we're grateful for your prayers and uh, uh, the support that you have shown the president. Uh, record unemployment for Hispanic Americans, African Americans across the country, and the, the leadership that uh, you've expressed support for the president's brought uh, to our uh, nation's engagement uh, in this hemisphere it means a great deal to all of us. But, uh, thank you all for being here. And a big part of it is the economy is so strong that people are yeah. rushing our borders. Yeah. Well, yes, thank you for yes. Tom Conley, but also you are Commander-in-Chief. And part of these issues is the safety of our country. Our country changed after 9-11, and we're dealing with issues that we didn't have to perhaps deal with uh, in the past. But I want to specifically say that as a woman, I'm a pastor. I deal with victims of human trafficking, which is at an all-time high, and a strong America. Uh, and when it comes to security and defending women and children, and even some men are trafficked as well. <laughs> Against their will, the horrific violence and even death of thousands of people across our border is something that no one has addressed. And I'm very grateful for this. I'm also grateful that we're here at the table and that we have uh, uh, this dialogue and that you're open to it. I thank you for that. And I know you have a compassion for women, for children, for families. So for that, I am, I am very grateful and very hopeful of the future, Mr. President. Okay. You're going to have a great future. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Secretary Wilson. I just want to thank everyone for being here. I want to thank you all for your leadership and your compassion for taking such good care of your communities uh, and for working uh, with the Department of Homeland Security. We'd love to continue to strengthen our partnership to learn from you, to understand what's happening. Uh, within our communities so that we can together make them safer under the president's leadership. So thank you for being here. It's very important. Thank you. She's got a very easy job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reverend, hello. Thank you, Mr. President. Thanks for having me. My name is Mario Sandoval. Uh, I pastor in Waco, Texas, a uh, Hispanic community. And uh, we, uh, and there where I'm at, you know, we suffer. We see what the people actually go through. And we're not for open borders. We're for secure borders because we know that uh, it's going to bring resolution to a lot of the things that people go through. And so we're here to support you. Today. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Pastor? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Mario Bramnick, uh, pastor of New One Ministry and president of the Latino Coalition for Israel. Um, we're really amazed by your leadership. Uh, what President Trump promises, President Trump delivered from the movement of the embassy to Jerusalem, to uh, the appointments of incredible Supreme Court justices, and now to what you're doing for border security. As Hispanics, with the soar from the poll numbers, you can see that we do want strong border security that you stand for. And from the times we have the honor to meet you, I know you have a compassion for the Hispanic people. And it's true from your heart um, all the times that we were able to be uh, with you, and as evidenced by the historic unemployment rate, as evidenced by your um, willingness to help with DACA and TPS relief, and um, we're, we're with you, we're praying uh, for you, and it's an honor to be here. Thank you very much, Pastor. Beautifully said. Thank you. Lourdes? Mr. President, uh, as President of Eres America, 
uh, my, my task is to bring leadership of the nation as we have sitting here today. I work with every organization and uh, denominations uh, that are in the leadership with the Hispanics. One of the things that I see and resonates today is the fact that um, there's a great misconception. Media gives a major misconception of the Hispanic community and the support that we have for you. Uh, I can emphatically say your values stand aligned to the Hispanic community. And that is uh, the, what you have seen in the polls is that they have seen, no matter what the media says, they see that your actions speak aligned <laughs> to their heart's desire. And so they've got it all wrong. They, they're making my task more interesting, uh, yet uh, the message is getting to our Hispanic community from it. truck drivers in Los Angeles. Yeah. You've got the Villarreal's names following you, the Gonzalez's. You've got Hispanics that are truly supporting. And on this reality that we've had, back to President Calderón in Mexico dealing with the human trafficking was appalling. The, the catastrophes that we saw, we worked hand in hand, and we were never able to achieve what you've already brought to the table. For that, the Hispanic community and America says thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lourdes, and I will say we've made a lot of progress. And when we're given the right uh, ingredients, and we need that, we need the wall, we need other things, we need other forms of technology, uh, you'll see numbers that are even better. We've done a lot of work, a lot of great work. And I will say the numbers will get even better once we have the right, uh, the right things, including technology, by the way. But if we don't have that wall and if we don't have a very powerful barrier, uh, it's all just a waste of time. It just can't work. It can't work. So we'll get it. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Sir, why did you agree to end shutdown? Why did you agree to end shutdown? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll help you get a deal. I think we have a chance, yeah. I think we have a good chance. We're going to work with the Democrats. We're going to see. Uh, and if we can't do that, then we'll do, uh, obviously, we're going to do the emergency, because that's what it is. It's a national emergency. Uh, these are Hispanic pastors and reverends and ministers, and they understand better than anybody. It's an emergency. It's a humanitarian emergency. Yes, and we are going to take care of our border. Mm -hmm. It's going to be done. And crime is going to go down throughout our whole country, not just at the border. And the border is the least of it. It's what comes in through the border and permeates throughout the whole country. And you're going to see drugs drop way down because a big percentage come in through the border. You will see drugs way down. You're going to see crime go way down. So we're going to do it, and we're doing well. And I really appreciate your being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.